Hey everyone. Hey, chances are if you're going to spend more than a few days out dry camping, especially if you have uh, multiple people, then you're probably going to end up having to add a little bit more water to your uh, fresh water tank. And uh, if you have to go pack up the RV and go take it somewhere to do that, it can be a real pain in the butt. So for that reason, I, uh, I always carry a uh, water jug like this. Now this is a six gallon jug. And uh, what I can do with this, I can take it somewhere, uh, fill it up and bring it back and add that water to my RV. But even so, you know, sometimes the water, uh, the fill up part on the RV is a little high and getting the water into the RV can also be a pain. Now I've tried uh, a number of different techniques and I've also used some pumps and things like that and uh, sometimes they break or don't work as well as I hope. But I have a fairly low tech way of doing it now and I'm going to show you uh, what that is today. So in order to use this technique that I'm about to show you, it's uh, real important that you get a water jug that actually has a spout on it because we're gonna need to connect this to a hose somehow and I'm gonna show you how that is gonna work. And also what I did is I, I took this jug that I got on Amazon and it holds about six and a half gallons and I also drilled a small hole in the top. So this is just through trial and error that seemed to work the best and I just temporarily put a little screw in here because I need a way to actually create some airflow and uh, some pressure in this in this tank in order to get the water to flow and it seems to work really good you'll see obviously the next uh, step is going to be to go find water and uh, and bring it back to your RV and we got to then take the super heavy container now and uh, be able to get all the water from the this container into your RV. I need a hose of some sort, so I don't want to be holding it up because it's super heavy. Uh, so I get a just a small, short length uh, drinking hose. I also use uh, just a standard uh, water filling attachment that I already keep in the RV. And uh, also, in order to connect the hose to this uh, to this water container, I'm using something called a. Uh, a water bandit and uh, it connects to one end of the hose and it'll also has a rubber end that will actually suction onto this um, this spout here and allow me to pour water directly from this container and kind of creates a watertight seal and it allows it to flow through the hose into the RV. In order to uh, get the uh, container above the filling point then, what I have to do is actually lift it up using a ladder or something like that. Uh, what I ended up using is just uh, the roof of my, uh, my tow car. You know, we have a Honda CRV, and I just open the back and I can lift this and simply set it on top of the roof of the car and it's at the perfect height and it seems to work really well. So once I have everything connected and uh, ready to go, I have the container in place, I simply remove the screw and, uh, you know, and then the hole just starts to suck in air and the water just starts flowing at a, at a, pretty, good, at a pretty good rate and uh, within, I don't know, five minutes, uh, all the water is out of the tank and into the RV. So that seems to work really well for me. It doesn't require any batteries or power or pumps or anything like that. And I can simply take the uh, container back to uh, where I got the water, refill it again, repeat this process as many times as I need to to get enough water into my tank. And uh, you know, you can even fill up your entire tank this way. Uh, but usually I've, no, I've uh, just only had to fill up a couple of tankfuls and it seems to work, it seems to be enough. So I know you guys uh, have your own way of doing this. I know some of you do. Uh, I'd love to 
hear what you have to say about the way that you know I've, I'm doing it here. But I hope this is helpful and maybe you'll uh, give this a try next time you're out dry camping. But take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.